What is going on YouTube? It is your boy Wingstop Hoppy back at you guys today with another video. In today's video, I have another sneaker pickup for you guys. One I'm not really excited about because this isn't a pair for me. I was picking up this shoe for my friend. However, he got a pair too. We can get into those details later, but we will be checking out the Travis Scott Air Force One Utopia, which released with his latest album, which dropped, I don't know, three or four weeks ago. Not really a big Travis Scott fan. Like I said, I got this for a friend. However, he got a pair, so now I'm stuck with them. But I figured I'd make the review for you guys anyway. These shoes have been causing quite the controversy on Twitter. Sneaker Twitter is in shambles. Nike gives us a Travis Scott shoe that everyone can get. And apparently everyone is pissed off, but we will get into that. Before we get into the video, as always, please like, subscribe, and feel free to follow me on Instagram down below to see how I style all my sneakers and outfits. And with that out of the way, Let's get into the video. Foremost, let's start off with the box. Regular Nike Air Force One box. That was people's first complaint. They came in a standard Air Force One box. For those who don't know, standard Air Force Ones, I believe retail for $110. I believe they raised them from 90 to 110, but correct me if I'm wrong. I'm not really an Air Force One person to be honest. But yeah, regular Nike Air Force One box. No special paper or anything like that. Honestly, I really don't care about the box. If you give me a special box, cool, whatever, but I don't wear the box and I don't give out closet tours every day. So no one even sees these shoe boxes besides me. So special box, yeah, it's a nice touch, but really don't really care. But yeah, just regular Air Force One box. Size level reads Air Force One 07, white, white. I got a size 10 in case you guys are curious. And there is the sizing label. All right, let's just jump right into the shoes. As you guys can see right here, we have a white Air Force One. And this is the only special part right here. The Utopia Cactus Jack heat pressed on. I believe this was heat pressed. I'm not 100% sure. It's not like embroidered or anything. So I'm assuming they just heat pressed, stamped this thing on, which probably cost Nike probably a dollar to do. So... That is going to be people's first complaint is that this shoe retailed at $150 after shipping and everything. For me, it came out to be $180. I just said a regular Air Force One retailed at $110. So pretty much I paid $70 over retail to have this stamped on the back of the shoe. Now, I will say this. If this was one of my favorite artists, for example, Larry June is my favorite rapper at the moment. If he dropped an album and Nike gave me an Air Force One for 150 and stamped like Midnight Organic on the back, I would have no problem paying for it because I'm a Larry June fan and I would have no issue paying $80 over retail for a white on white Air Force One if that's how I wanted to celebrate the album. So if you're a Travis Scott fan, honestly, I wouldn't be too mad about it. I mean, you gotta be thankful that Nike actually let you get a Travis Scott shoe. Every time Travis Scott releases a shoe, People complain because they can't get them. Finally, Nike lets people get a Travis Scott Nike Air Force One. Now, yes, I get it. It's a white basic Air Force One with this stamped on. But still, they're giving you the availability to get a Travis Scott Air Force One, which I think is a good thing. At the end of the day, this is just Elba merch, you can call it. But getting back to my point, people are willing to spend $1,000 on a Travis Scott Air Jordan 1, which retails at $170. So if you're willing to pay $1,000 for Air Jordan 1 with a backward swoosh on it, if that shoe didn't have Travis Scott attached to it, you would not be spending $1,000. But yet, you're mad about spending $70 over retail for a Travis Scott Air Force 1 white on white. It doesn't really make sense. I would rather spend $70 than to spend $800 over retail, but that's just me. And other than that, I think people are just pissed off because they thought that they were going to be able to make money off this shoe. Now that they realize that they can't make money off of it, they're pissed off. And that's the problem with the sneaker community. People complain about not having accessibility, but then when things are accessible, they complain because at the end of the day, like most people in sneakers are in sneakers because they want something limited. They want to be different than everyone else. And when you make something accessible, that kind of goes out the window. That's just my take on it. You can comment down below if you think I'm wrong or if I'm crazy or whatever. But that's my whole take on the whole Travis Scott Air Force One. If you're a Travis Scott fan, if you love this album, I feel like you should not be mad at this. This should be a good cop for you. For me personally, I'm not a Travis Scott fan. I haven't even listened to this album, so this shoe does absolutely nothing for me. As I mentioned, I did not know when these dropped that they were going to be made to order, which I believe they were. And I got them for my friend who's a huge Travis Scott fan. He ended up getting a pair and I was like, you know what? I'll just eat the costs. They'll probably resell in a year or two. 
So I'll just hold on to them, keep them dead stock, and that would be that. $180, not the end of the world. Pretty much it for these. I really have nothing to say. It's a white Air Force One. It's a standard Air Force One. You can go buy your local Foot Locker, Dick's Sporting Goods, wherever you shop. So if you're still waiting on these, don't expect the leather that came on the $150 Air Force Ones that drop like every month. You know, those like different colors they did for each month. Don't expect that leather. It's a standard Air Force One with this Utopia Cactus Jack stamped on the back. Clean shoe, white Air Force One, can't really go wrong. So yeah, as I stated, if you're a Travis Scott fan and you got these, I wouldn't be, I would probably be pretty happy because let's be realistic. Next time Travis Scott drops a Jordan or Nike, you're probably going to take the L. So instead of complaining on Twitter, just be thankful. Nike finally let you get your artist's favorite shoe for retail price, even though they did upcharge it. But at the end of the day, everyone's in this to make money, including the brands. That's exactly what they did. But anyways... That is going to be my review on the Travis Scott Air Force One Utopia Cactus Jack, whatever you want to call this shoe. Let me know your thoughts and opinions down below. Do you agree with my takes on this? Are you happy that Nike made them accessible? Do you like the album? Maybe comment your favorite song on the album and maybe I'll give it a spin in my free time when I'm bored. As I mentioned, I have not listened to this album. It is your boy Wingstop Poppy. I hope you guys have a great rest of the day and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.